Hi everyone, it's Vicki and Walter. I'm here to do a layout share and it's my entry for One Happy Crafty Chicks What the Heck Was I Thinking Challenge. Before I get started, I just wanted to thank everybody who's private messaged me and checked in on me to see where I've been at. I think I've lost my mojo a little bit. I think I've got holiday burnout. Maybe I have a little bit of the flu. I can tell you I have done little to nothing in the past few weeks. I'm doing some of the challenges because I just feel like there's some challenges out there and I absolutely have to support the gals throwing these challenges. I think that's important. And hopefully I'll be pulling together a challenge here in the next few weeks. But today it's all about Carol. Carol did a really great challenge and she didn't have a lot of rules. You are to do a layout or a, I think a layout or a smash page or something like that. Anyway, with at least two pictures of yourself with funny hair, funny fashion, something that you would look back on and say, what the heck was I thinking? Now this challenge is over on January 15th. So make sure you get that uploaded. And you do have to leave her a video response to her initial video that says, what the heck was I thinking challenge. Make sure you get the right one because she even did a sample layout for us. So make sure you upload your video response to the right video. Here is my entry. And I went back to check this because everybody was t putting the title on their layout of what the heck was I thinking. And I think Carol said that has to be the title of your video response, not the title on your layout. I hope I'm right about that. But I titled my layout, Why Couldn't Someone Sit on Them? I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't count how many pairs of sunglasses either I have sat on and crushed or someone in my life has sat down on and crushed. I don't know why in the world Someone couldn't have sat down on these sunglasses. You won't believe this, but these sunglasses lasted for over a decade. From like 1979 until 1989, 1990. So they were around for a long time. In fact, not only did I wear these goofy sunglasses, other people wanted to wear them too. As you'll see in the picture here, this is my mom. Anyway, I'll zoom in in a minute here. I'm going to try to remember to tell you what paper lines these are. The background on this, let's see. The background is Ornaments by Echo Park. This is from a Kay and Company Christmas stack that I got for Christmas. This little embellishment, no, 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 I just lied. This paper is from either Fact or Fiction by Basic Gray. This and the flare Let's see what else. And the button, and this paper here, and the paper there, and these two little chipboard screws are all from the Fact and Fiction collection by Basic Gray. 
oh, you know what? So are the arrows. This thickers is called Giggles, and this, I think, is called Muse. And that, that's an Amy Tan Tangerine line. Um, let's see. I have at least two pictures, as you'll notice. But these silly sunglasses, look how big they are. Oh my gosh, I know big sunglasses has got popular a few years back, but that's one fashion that circles around for a couple of years and then leaves. I was definitely wearing these goofy sunglasses when they were not in style. So I actually had these pictures pulled months ago. I wanted to do a layout because these glasses keep popping up in pictures of other people. Anyway, let me zoom in. Okay, I just cut that strip out of the fact or fiction line. I love this background paper. In fact, I bought a couple of pieces of this. Those little word stickers, the word sit, I think that comes from an authentique word fetty thing. And the other ones come from Prima. Look at these cute little chipboard nails. That's from Factor Fiction. You'll see those little arrows are from the chipboard and transparency pack from Fact and Fiction. This is me wearing those silly sunglasses uh, quite a few years ago. There I am wearing them again. And, and these pictures are taken... Uh, like a year and a half to two years apart and I still had the crazy glasses as you'll see my mom has them on there that's like 1979 there I am they're on my head in that picture this that picture right there on the right is from probably 1990 There's the glasses at Disney World. There's me, myself, and a relative with them on. And there's the journaling. The journaling reads, well, let me start over. The top says, why couldn't someone sit on them? And I put the little asterisk, like, you know, a refer to symbol and then it says, them being these crazy, huge, rainbow-tinted, tortoiseshell sunglasses. I had them for over a decade. Who keeps sunglasses for ten years? Even Mom and E would wear them. So, there you go, Carol. I hope I qualify. I'm glad I was able to do your challenge. And guys, I'll be back soon. I want to do a couple of videos today. I need to share a beautiful, amazing rack that I got from a dear YouTuber. Very unexpected. Um, I, I want to share my Christmas cards I got. I've got several layouts to share with you. Thanks for watching.